Hey guys, today I'm going to be creating a reverse smoky eye. This is a little bit different than your average eye makeup look, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I will be using the Elisa Edwards and Anastasia palette, so without any further delay, let's jump straight into the video. First, I'm starting off with the shade, the Supreme. This is the perfect transition color. I'm going to buff that in my inner corner using a fluffy blending brush. These shades are really packed with pigment. There's never really a lack of color payoff with the Anastasia shadows, so you wanna make sure that you start off light and add to it when needed. On a smaller fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up this brown matte shade and I'm going to blend it right below that transition color on our inner corner. It does help to look straight ahead if you can, that way we can see where our natural crease is and this gives us a better indication of how high to take that eyeshadow. Take your time with this step and again concentrate this color on the inner corner only. I'm going in with around three to four layers to really make it defined. Return to that original blending brush when you can to blend out the edges to ensure there's no harsh lines. Next, using a flat top brush, we're picking up this white shade and we're going to place it on our very outer corner, slowly bringing it in towards the inner corner shadows. So far, I am absolutely in love with this palette. Ironically, it was actually the bright shades that caught my attention. I have since used majority of the colors and I have nothing bad to say about them. They are very creamy, they're very pigmented, and they're definitely on par with the most loved Anastasia palettes. I'm making sure to also blend out the edges of that white shadow. Don't think just because it's a light shade we can get away without blending. Oh no, we blend everything. On that small fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up the shade and I'm going to place it between the inner corner shadow and the outer corner shadow. And then blend it all together so you get a beautiful gradient effect. For a little bit of sparkle, I'm reaching for this shade called Inspire, and on a super small brush, I'm just going to place it on the very, very inner corner and tear duct area. This is probably my favorite shade from the palette. Pigmented gold tones just really get me going, and this is exactly that. I'm applying two to three layers of this bad boy to really make it pop. I wanted to deepen up the look ever so slightly, so on a lip brush, I'm carefully running this black shade over that original brown shade. You're probably asking yourself, why a lip brush? A lip brush is small and to somewhat degree, it's also quite firm. This allows total control and accuracy over that black shadow. Black shadow, I'm sure as you guys know, is very, very easy to mess up. So we just wanna ensure that we go in as light as possible and build up the intensity. Especially with the inner corner, it is a very small and delicate area. You don't wanna go in with a big fluffy brush. It's just gonna turn into a total mess. I'm returning to that white shade and using a small brush, I'm going to place this on my brow bone. This gives the illusion of higher arched brows and in my opinion, it completes the top part of the makeup quite well. Be careful, however, to not drag it too far down. We don't want it to interfere with that transition color. We're going to even out the bottom half with the top. So I'm combining these two shades and I'm going to run it across my lower lash line, just sweeping back and forth until we get our desired intensity. For even more definition, I'm going to run a gel liner from Sigma Beauty on my waterline. Finish off the look with your favorite mascara and lashes. And there we have it, a reverse smoky eye. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was very quick and to the point, but that's how I like to keep these eye tutorials. I don't want to blab on about stuff that isn't necessary. So yes, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.